Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new series on the channel, Hidden Agenda. Now this is one of the first games I've played where the you have to have an app to really play the game. So I've already downloaded the app, got it paired up and everything. Uh, this is a, looks like a crime thriller. I don't know, um, this was made by the same studio that made Until Dawn. I'll try to you know, remember to link that to this video as well, either as a card or at the end of the video. Um, but anyway... Do me a favor, show this new series some love. And uh, yeah, without holding you guys up, let's do this. Oh my heaven. The trapper, that is a trapper. Okay, so we play as cops, I see, already. Hey, that's Kate. Kate Cassidy. Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook college. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. Okay. Uh... Let's scope it out. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Choose wisely, okay. Hope I don't keep making us do this in the heat of the moment. That's gonna get real annoying. Having to keep I'll using my right phone back. and we're in the heat of the battle. Stealth mode. See you in there. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the innovation, but still. That's going to get annoying. I can see that right now. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. <laughs> okay. No, no, oh my God. <laughs> see what I mean? I was using my thumb. I need to use my other, my, my finger. Oh my Tom. Uh I'm going in. I'm going, in I'm going in. We can't waste any more time. Oh shoot move your pointer onto the target think before you shoot you do not have to open fire okay he he's submitting so we're not gonna shoot look at it he's submitting we'll just stay cautious he's look he's obviously submitting he's got his hands up we're not gonna shoot not gonna shoot him peacemaker I will shoot don't shoot Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me up. Hey! 
Hands up! Hands up! I'm not gonna say it again! Okay, he's already frozen. We don't need to say freeze. It's over. Ripple event. It was butterf like the butterfly effect uh, back in Until Dawn. Now it's the ripple effect. 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 I The hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story. Oh man. Oh, you really going away. You claim the lives of cops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn. You have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. Jeez. This court is adjourned. I've seen him before. I love how they use real actors, too. I'm, I'm guessing, obviously, if you go in for a button on your app to read plot updates view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. It says, Officers Marnie and Nelson responded to a sighting of the trapper shooter killer. This is the crawl. Jonathan Finn confessed. Our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, the trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Becky Trapper's Marnie. only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. That's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Martin, for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct. Who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Well, I should say A-listers, Hollywood A-listers. Now, obviously, you're a real actor if you're acting in a video game. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. She's on that show, Arrow. And that guy who confessed to the Trapper Killers, I've seen him in something before, but I can't just, I can't put words to it. But I've seen him. You know how you annoy it if you see it? Good morning, if you come everyone. on TV. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marnie the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary? I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Hey, Becky. Ignore him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? Uh, 
Uh, we'll go with anxious. No. no, not really. I feel like it's some big cosmic joke that Dick has my future in his sweaty little hands. I know it feels like that, but they got nothing. So just lay low, keep a wide berth of cavalry. It'll blow over. Yeah, thanks. Just gotta keep telling myself that. Detective Marnie, we have a word in my office. She's detective now. Look, Marnie, I'm not supposed to comment on ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective. I'm sorry, sir. Nate, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. Mm, I want to believe that. But I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. You know when you send someone to death row? I don't want you to be distracted. <laughs> Finn's execution can't come soon enough. A whole lot of folks agree. I know I do. I'm gonna guess none of those folks are looking forward to a good night's sleep as much as I am. Hmm? The fact that he's still breathing keeps me up at night. All right. Got your message. Heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Uh, be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? Mm. I know how to get what I need. Call you after. Commentary is gonna be pretty much non-existent during this series because it's like a movie. I haven't even touched Your my controller. Says you've got something you want to share with me? You've got five minutes. Piss round and I'm out of here. And they That's just great. keep talking. I did not kill anybody. See, 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 here we go. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas, the orphanage. We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! Finn, calm down. Calm? I'm about to fucking die! And nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? I'm gonna die a liar. A dirty, sinning liar. Truth about what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly, then who did? Hmm? I'm sorry, Finn, but your time is up. Wait, please, Miss Graves. We're done. It was Adam. Adam Jones. Ah, there we go. The orphanage. I'm listening. He was my friend. Went through the same hell as me. He killed them. It was Adam, not me. Hmm. I'm listening, but you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I, we've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. Then a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? <laughs> Pretty convenient. Convenient. Mm -hmm. convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. 
You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. You gonna draw me a treasure map? <laughs> All I can do is point you in the right direction, but, uh... Nope. You got words. Use them. I kinda need to show you myself. Dismissive. No dice. Say you're telling the truth. So let's say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what Adam's like. The kind of places he hangs around. We could go together. Check it out. Oh, you gotta give me more than that, or you ain't going nowhere. I can't take it! I'm not supposed to be here. It's not supposed to go like this. Finn, stop it. This is insane. Adam told me this wouldn't happen. He told me I'd be out by now. He promised. Okay. Let's if reassure. If this is all true, I will make sure you don't die a liar. Okay. So he's not the I chapper. I will look into Adam Jones. If he's out there, I'll find him. So he's pretty much the fall guy then. Oh, there's that knock. Time's up. That's the only time I can get commentary in is the, the silent moments. Because this whole thing is like a movie. And in the movie theater, the silence is golden. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana? It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Yeah, you're right. Let's. Take it to Judge Banstone, see what happens. Yeah, that's actually true. Don't thank me yet. If he dies, then the, the, the serial killer is still out there. So we would have, you know, an innocent man. Well, I don't know if he's quite the in innocent, actually. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? Oh, man. Um, it kind of adds up, though. Okay, we're going to go with Curious, see what the judge says. The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far, it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists... How can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. That's true. Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. Yep. Full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Hmm. I would do it. I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, 
We may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. Yep. Let's see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Wow. Okay, that might be enough hey, time. Hey, Lana, you're not going to believe this. He actually went for it. Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm going to head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. I got to pee. But I don't want to get up. <laughs> this is good. This is good here. I, I'm not even playing. I'm just we're just watching and, and using the smartphone. I guess they say why use the the pad, the middle pad, when you can just use the Outrageous. smartphone. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. I'm just doing my job, Detective Calvary. I try not to miss things that might be important. I know that's sort of a foreign concept around here. I'm not gonna punch a DA. Not a lady one, at least. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? We're going to be optimistic on this I one. Think, I think there's something there. Judge I do too, here. shoot. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary... So, when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So, no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access mm. to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker. And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. This guy. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. That's funny because it's telling me on the phone, look at TV. So we search the area or enter the trail. Let's search the area first. You might see something. You never know. Rather than just barging in. You might be booby trapped. Like the last place was. We fell on our chin. Uh huh.
This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway, no perp. I'm gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged, caution advised. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Oh, Some wow. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. At the top of the screen? Uh... Okay, here's one. Matt, where the... Okay, there's two. Oh, I, I missed the footprints. That was the most important. Prints are the most important thing. The darn crime scene next to the murder weapon. I missed the prints. Jesus. You know, I'm almost starting to prefer using the controller and walking around and getting the clues like in Until Dawn. <laughs> But I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty neat. I have my preferences, but I'm not I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. This is neat. Oh no. Oh and we by ourselves too. bar I I don't know I woke up here oh god please help me please what's happening oh man we got about 15 seconds are oh, we helping we're not gonna leave her there that's stupid we're a cop that's real stupid That bad boy didn't detonate while we were cutting the wires. Real lucky. Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. Not that it did a lot of good. Social worker was killed in a head and run a few weeks later. It wasn't the kind oh, of thing wow. we were to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Got out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. Uh, let's see. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was, uh, just doing my job. And, um, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system? Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip, uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. I'm sorry, detective, but your attitude is not helping. I'm sorry. This dude's Last pissing me off. This my case, and I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Is there anything else we can help you with? All right, I've heard enough. Thank you everyone for hearing me out. And thank you 
for eating up our entire afternoon with this shit. This guy is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Hey, yeah, I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. God. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Talking about something you free tonight. What? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not going to be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. A rat trap? Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop it here for today. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Hidden Agenda. If you like this episode, do me a favor. Drop a like and subscribe to help the channel and the series grow. Again, my name is Raven from the Sky. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next